We are here with Mark Beeney, who just won the BBR World Finals Open 1D with a smoking 15-165. So Mark, he rode JL Twisted Rock. Tell us how that run felt. Oh, you know, it, it was so amazing. We've had a little bit of struggle just kind of catching the rim of that first barrel. But um, he ran in today probably as fast as I've ever run to the first barrel. But I knew after the times it had been run, and of course the, the people that were running against is the best in the world, um, I was going to have to sizzle something. So it was either kind of a do or die situation. I just let him haul in there as fast as he wanted to go, and he just happened to hit his targets just perfect. It was thrilling. It was fast. I felt maybe a hint of a pause on that second barrel, but obviously it did not lose him any time. So it just felt as fast, as clean, and as focused as I could have ever asked him to be. So how did that run compare to the, how the rest of your week went with him? Well, the first day in the call scene, in the first qualifying round, um, I used a different bid on him, which he wasn't real happy with. He smoked the first barrel, but on the second, he really hung off away from my hand, and so he bowed really hard to the third barrel. He still was able to hold on to a small check at 27th in the entire round out of the 1,668 contestants. Not bad. But then we came back. I decided to do the bit change, put him in one he's a little happier in, which is the same one I run him in here, which is the J.D. Morrow bit. And we went over into barn six, and we just went in there, went to business. Um, he kind of had a little bit of a gap on the first barrel, but nothing major, obviously. And then he was just fast and clean and focused for the rest of it. Ended up with the win in barn six for the qualifying round, which brought us into the finals in the third fastest time of the week coming into the finals. Excellent. So those who, for those who may be unfamiliar with your history with him, kind of tell us what uh, what his background is. Well, um, I call him El Roy. That's his barn name. Um, I got him out of the Jill Lane breeding program. Um, she owns Jail Soraka, which is his sire. And he's out of Miss Twist Bug, which is the daughter of Shawnee Bug. And I bought him as a two-year-old, unbroke. Um, we started him. I trained him on barrels, ran him as a fraternity colt last year. He made a little over 70000 last year running fraternities. Um, qualified for the American semifinals last year. Uh, just barely made it out of making it into the performances at the semifinals. Um, so he's just, I knew he was always a little bit immature, but sometimes you, you're not sure how immature. But I can tell you now that he's coming into his five-year-old year, he's just getting more serious, stronger about it, more seasoned. He's not looking around as much, and he's just getting a whole lot more fun. As a trainer, is there anything specific that you do with those Colts that you feel are a little immature? Um, typically, I'll just hold them over or I'll just take it easy. And every time that I feel like they get a little rattle or something, you know, coming out of a pen after we've made a run, um, I'll just take it easy at home, do a lot of quiet station work, some pasture rides, that sort of thing. Um, I'm not a believer in blowing a horse up. I will not take one in there. If I feel like they're rattled, I'll either sit passively or they'll just wait a couple weeks until I feel like their confidence is built again. Um, sometimes I hold them over till five-year-olds instead of four-year-olds, and um, that does the trick. Sometimes, you know, your horse just won't make a fraternity horse, whether it's a four- or five-year-old, and you have to carry them over. Um, but I just try to stay real conscious of that. If they feel rattled at all, we just quiet it back down until they feel confident again. Awesome. So what are your plans now with Elroy going forward? Um, you know, he is for sale. Um, I'm not in a hurry to sell him. He's kind of got a lot of quirks as far as outside of the arena always runs barrels, always serious about it in the pen, so he's a top-notch horse from bottom to, there's from top to bottom, but, um, you know, I'm happy to keep him. I mean, I got a lot of goals this year. I want to make it to the finals of a, a few big um, associ associations that have come up. I want to make uh, the American semifinals, which actually that goal was accomplished today because the world finals winner actually gets a qualification to the American semifinals, so that's goal one down right there. So I'm going to just keep him as long as I can. Um, when the right person, which I'm going to make sure he's matched with the right person because, you know, his courts are going to take the right personality to go with him and I'm not going to sell him to just anybody. So I'm going to keep him as long as he needs to be in my barn. Awesome. And do you have anybody specific you would like to thank after this week? Any sponsors, friends, or family? Yeah, absolutely. I always like to sponsor uh, Kimmy Byler down in Texas with Horsewim.com. Um, Outlaw Equine, they do all my vet work and they've always taken really good care of Elroy. Um, Jill Lane, of course, she owns Jill Lane Quarter Horses and Sirocco, which is um, Elroy's sire, and she's just been a great friend and a, and a great business partner as well um, on a lot of these colts and sells me great stock every year. Um, and of course, Animal Element, they provide me with a lot of product and some shirts for competition, that sort of thing. And also, I use some. Uh, some products from Oxygen this this week that really I think helped a lot. So those are my main people that take good care of me, and along with my partner Rick McIntosh, who's always there for me, and my friend Twyla that come to all these deals with me and stand in the wind pictures. Excellent. Well, congratulations, Mark. Enjoy it. Thank you. I appreciate it. We're here with Dally Parker, who just won the 2D championship here at the BBR World Finals. Dally, how are you feeling? I feel great. Thank you for asking. <laughs> you bet. Tell us about the horse that you rode. Um, she's pretty easy to ride. Uh, she's Her name is Leaving Haunt Memories. She's an own daughter of Leaving Memories. Today, she kind of got by the first barrel, 
cost us a lot of time, but you know what? She worked good. I'm still proud of her, and I just bought her, so I, I love her. I'm proud of her. <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you. So, what's she like to ride, and how's it been since you just bought her to get with her? She's so easy to ride at home. I can lope her in the pasture, loose rein, whatever. You get her in the back of the alleyway, and she gets a little fired up. As you probably saw, she started running from the back 40, but uh, it's okay. I love her. She's awesome. Cool. Well, tell us about the whole week, how it went leading up to the finals. Um, it's been pretty good. Um, yeah, it's rough at some times, but it was pretty good. My horse worked good, and that's all that matters. What was your game plan or expectations coming into the short round? I was surprisingly really nervous for some reason. I had ran at BBR for, since 2014, and I was super nervous um, for some reason, but I knew she could do it, and I just went in there trying to have a clean run in place. That's really cool. Well, where are you headed next? Um, I think I'm going to go back to Pilot Point, Texas. Awesome. Well, Thank congratulations. You. Thank you so much. We're here with Ashley Watson, and she just won the 3D World title at the BBR Finals. Tell us how you're feeling. Um, shocked and overwhelmed and just kind of like, wow, this is awesome. Like, that's pretty much it. Awesome. <laughs> uh, well, tell us about your short round run. Um, the short round run did not go like I had planned. He had been running by the first barrels and he, I changed bits up and he still ran by it a little bit, but we made up on our second and then he had a little, little issue at the third, but we ran a one and I was like, well, hopefully somebody else will run a one and that's the best we can do is just wait and see how it, planned, how it uh, finishes out. But he worked good and he tried. Tell us a little bit about him. How long have you had him? Uh, I bought him in 2016. Uh, he's out of title contender and uh, out of the flaming jet mare and um, he's just all run he is all run but he can darn sure turn um, and he's been pretty awesome he's done a lot of good for me in the last two years and uh, we got a martin stingray saddle here about a year ago and that changed our whole riding just everything about our riding my sitting his how he felt and um, yeah so he's about he's about the worst thing to try to get in the arena but um, and he needs his pony usually i bring his pony with him but <clears throat> Um, other than that, he is he's monster, and that's his name, and he's he's just a, he's just cool. Cool. So um, hey, you've been to the BBR finals before, then one time. Okay. Mm -hmm. In uh, 2017, when they had the bad storm. Oh. So we never ran in here. Uh, we ran one time in here, and that was it. Mm -hmm. So that being said, what was your preparation for to come here this year? <clears throat> um, a pony for him because mm -hmm. he had he was a, a nut job in his stall last time we were here. And, um, and then really preparation is just making sure that I go to my points and, and I ride like I know how and make good runs. What do you have planned in the future coming up? <clears throat> um, well, I was hoping that we'd be in like a position to go to the American semifinals, but really uh, this is good for us. Like this is good to see where we stand and what we need to work on. And we'll keep going. We'll go to um, some barrel races in Amarillo. I'm from Dalhart, Texas, which is in the Texas Panhandle. So, uh, I mean, we'll just keep going to everything that we go to. Perfect. Well, congratulations here and good luck the rest of the year. All right, thank you so much. Hey everybody, we are here with Shalonda Miller and Try Messing With Me, who just won the Better Barrel Races World Finals 4D Championship. So Shalonda, tell us how your week has gone here in Oklahoma City. Well, it's been a blessing. I mean, he is a very special horse to me. He's the first horse I raised and trained myself and he wasn't supposed to be entered and I brought him for my backup horse and I am ecstatic. You should be. It's quite an accomplishment. Oh, yes. So how did your run feel today in the finals? Well, he was a little wild. I was worried about being the third run because he's been on a six-month break, <laughs> and he got a little wild, and I just didn't want to hit a barrel. I just wanted to leave him up, and we did and got my world title. So That's um, awesome. Get your check in so there. Happy. Very cool. So what is he like as a horse just to be around? Um, he literally gives me everything all the time. I rodeo on him mostly, and he is usually a lot better outside than inside, but most consistent horse I've ever had in my life. Excellent. And so other than barrel racing, what all do you do? Um, I do welding electronics on welding robots and have two kids, and we pretty much just work on a farm and raise cattle and horses. Cool. And where are you from? Mansfield, Missouri. Excellent. Will you be making the trip next year to Oklahoma City? Oh, yes. Wonderful. Well, best of luck going down the road. All right. Thank you. Uh, we're here with BK Wilkins Loveless, and you just won the 5D championship here at the BBR World Finals. <laughs> uh, tell us how you're feeling. I feel excited and 
honored that uh, I rode a horse for one of my clients. Um, she was having some problems with him throughout the year, and so I was able to bring him because my 1D horse passed away a week before the, the thing he colicked, and so she let me bring him. So I'm pretty blessed, and thank you um, to Renee for letting me bring her horse to the... Boy, that's a pretty emotional trip for you then. Yes, ma'am. Um, so tell us just a little bit about the horse that you rode. Um, his name is Flash. He's a nine-year-old um, paint. He's a paint, but he's a crop out. Um, he came off the track, and he is, like I said, owned by Renee Chestnut, and she lives in Winniewood, Oklahoma. I was like, where does she live? <laughs> and uh, he, it's just a blessing to ride him. He's, he's a good horse. He's up and coming and something for everyone to look for. Cool. Um, so tell us about the week on him and leading up to this finals. Um, I was real nervous, of course, uh, not knowing the horse, only riding him for a month or so. And uh, my first run was grayed out on him. My second run in the gold card, he didn't do what I thought he was going to do. Came back in, made another run, and then made a perfect run today. So I was very excited with his run. Good. Did you have any game plan or expectations with him for the short round? I didn't. I was just like, I'm going to go in there and just hope that he does what I've taught him the last month and, and not have any issues and he went and he proved himself so very good. <laughs> so what's the plan with him moving forward? Are you going to keep keep him for a little while? Um, he'll go back to his owner. He goes home on Tuesday and she I just called her on the phone. She's very excited. He goes back with her on Tuesday and she'll continue to haul him this year. Well congratulations. Thank you. I appreciate it.